The Memorial Garden came about because, of course, we had a really terrible COVID outbreak at our facility. And we thought, like, how could we create a tranquil space that staff and residents, families could come and just reflect on these last couple of years? So I reached out to Donahoe. I was familiar with their work. And Jessica got back to me right away, and she was really excited about the idea. Um, and wanted to work together. We couldn't be more thrilled. Our business is generally the luxury residential market here in Vancouver. And I think that as a company and with our employees, we just thought it was really important to have a better connection to the community. Ryan and I were chatting about what our contributions could be. And we thought, you know, we really have this skill of landscape design, project management, and that's kind of a unique thing and honestly I don't know if it was fate or what but um, probably two weeks later I just got an email in my inbox completely randomly from Three Wings. We came up with the idea of, of creating a memorial garden to honor those that we lost and also to honor those that worked so hard throughout um, this pandemic and, and the outbreak. So right now we are in well it's supposed to be our resident family garden but it's used primarily as kind of a smoking pit and it's very underutilized actually. It's not a space where our families would ever think to bring their loved ones to visit because it's not nice. It's a, it's a care centre. They are essentially at the end of their life and the closest green space that they have is run down. They have the noise of the buses. It's quite dark. It doesn't bring a sense of life. I think about what people went through during COVID and I mean the people in this care home were under complete lockdown for months. They couldn't leave their room much less to go outside and it just really touches you when you see that kind of thing on the news. We went to site with the team, we looked at the survey, we looked at the surrounding areas, we thought about creating a space that would um, bring a sense of community and so we ended up on this circular design where we have a central feature ginkgo tree um, and, and the tree represents um, like a singular point of positive energy I guess you could say. Uh, it's like a focal point for the garden that everybody looks towards. So the chosen concept it's entitled Full Circle and Full circle for many reasons. There's the phrase when something comes full circle, um, you know, it starts, you endure many emotions and challenges and you come full circle and you come out stronger. It symbolizes harmony, unity, and those, those two words, especially unity, is something that we've really missed during the pandemic. We really want to all be back together again. Instead of just kind of giving them a little design and then giving them the, the drawings and walking away, we've really taken on this role where we're gonna see it built. So we don't have the funding currently right now to finish the garden completely. There is some funding, but we need more. And we're also looking for people to join our team, for people to help build the garden and supply us with some materials. I feel like this is a real opportunity for the various contractors that would be required to help build this small project you know, whether it's contractors that are coming forward and offering uh, labor to help erect different parts of the project, or if they're able to provide supplies, and of course, if there's any individuals or foundations that are willing to donate funds towards the cost of building the project, then that would be a real gift for these individuals that are living in this Three Links care facility. You know, if I see a family Sitting out here, enjoying the afternoon together with smiles on their faces, that's right there, that's enough for me. The importance of having the memorial garden in, in the facility of Three Links is very important to our family because we, we lost my dad here and this is his home. And with COVID, unfortunately, some people won't even, can't even do a funeral service, a proper funeral service last for their last respect. It's a very important piece of a missing piece that many people wouldn't have.